Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to talk about templates. But before I do, let me just review a few things also. So main.dart, it, it bootstrap points to app component, which is right over here, class app component, all right? So we talked a little bit about decorator. What a decorator is, it's an annotation, so it's metadata, and it tells Angular what is inside of these contents and what to actually look for. All right, so what are the types of decorators that we could have? Well, component basically is a the component is one of them, and we'll go over the little uh, over them a little bit more in the future. Um, and there are other types of things uh, inside of type, types of metadata, and that would be something like um, a pipe. A pipe is good for basically converting one form of data to another. So at pipe. And then there would be at directive and directive would be anything where you could, where your focus, where the purpose of this module is to actually manipulate the DOM. So that would be, or you could just put in injectable. So we talked about um, inject, um, dependency injection in the past. If you want something for the sole purpose of injecting information, a class, into somewhere else, then you would put at injectable. Again, we'll go over those a little bit more in the future. And there's a few more. I think you can actually customize some of these as well. So let's just start a little bit. But just to let you know that there are different types of annotations or um, decorators, and they mean that they define or identify more, more accurately what's going to happen right inside of here. Okay? If that wasn't super, super clear, don't be too worried about it. We will talk about that more in the future. Um, just just know that there are different types of um, annotations, different types of decorators um, for, for different purposes themselves. Let's talk about all of this stuff inside of here, okay? So we talked about the selector. Now let's talk about template. We'll talk about the styles probably next time, but template itself. So what the template URI is the like we talked in the MVC, the model view controller, it would be more of the view. OK, it's what do you actually see? What is the template of the HTML? Now, you can have two things. You could have template or template URL. Sorry. Uh, OK, template URL. Template URL simply says this points to another page so I can organize it better. So instead of having like 500 things and scrolling down, you might just want to say, let me just point to um, a, a different web page, which is an HTML page. Okay. So here it points here. It's a to-do list. Well, okay, great. Now what's, what's, what's to-do list? Well, we're going to have to look up here and look over here. So there are several layers to this one. This is not the most straightforward, simple, um, web application, although it is pretty, pretty basic because it points to several layers. So it's not great for learning for the first time, but this is just the concept. So it points to here, it point, which points to here, and we can actually see it right here. All right, so this is getting a little bit of few layers. It's a little bit more advanced than just, just for the beginner. So let's go back to right here instead. The concept we know of is that it just points to a different HTML page. Now, what is template? Again, just like we talked about, it is the purpose of template is to simply point to or at least show what is this web application, this module going to actually look like. So what if I put right inside of there, I just said hi there. I'll save it. And let's run this, see what happens. So all that stuff from before is all gone. All it's going to show is Hi there, because that's the view itself, right? Now, this is all HTML. So what we can do is we could go um, input type equals button. We can do that. So what is this component, this my app? What's it going to look like? Well, it's going to look like <laughs> I'm moving around a lot. It's kind of hard to track. Um, okay. What's going to look like? That is what it's going to look like. Type equals button. I didn't give it a value. Um, value equals hi there. So 
So notice this is all being made by Angular. So when you first load the page, it's not on the HTML page. So you load the page, accessing this information, it sends information over saying, where is this my app located? And it finds it right around my app right inside of here. And then it displays what this actually looks like. Now notice there's no functionality here. Okay, I could click on it. That really doesn't do anything. So normal HTML or um, web programming, right? The we would be importing right here, right? So not in Angular Dart. In Angular Dart, we're going to do everything right in this section here and this section right here. So um, this is we're just going to do one thing at a time. We'll talk about the template and the view first. Okay, so I'm, I'm jumping ahead. What if you want more than one one page? What if you want to look a little bit more fancy? Well, if you want to look a little more fancy, again, you could reference point to a different HTML HTML page, or what you could do is put triple quotes. So triple quotes here. So these Hang on. Okay. Triple quotes, that would actually mean you could do multiple line. It's got to do three, not a double quote, but uh, three single quotes. We could do that. And then we could do another line and say, um, input type equals text. And, oh, I could do like a break here inside here, I could do something like that. And I could do hang on, there we go. Okay. And one more thing, maybe it's easier to read for me to do it this way. I'm going to say, um, uh, age, In put type equals number. Let's see if this works. So there it is. So, whoop, I just want to hi there. Input button. Triple quote so I can make it, I can read it a little bit easier, right? But again, if this thing gets too many pages, too many lines, it could be very difficult. I could put a break here, but if I want to do more than that, I might want to use the style. Again, next video. So we have this right here, this right here itself. That's just pure. Any HTML that you could think of, you could put it inside of the template itself. All right. Um, I think that's about it. You could put links um, in, inside of here because this is standard HTML. So you could put, you know, um, if you want to like um, uh, link. So in other words, and then if you want to do like rel equals something like that, something style, style, how do you spell style? Style, sheet, something like that. And then href equals something dot CSS. You can always do something like that. I don't have a something not CSS, or you could do app component dot CSS or something like that. Um, but what, anything that you could think about where you could put into HTML, you could put it here or remember, don't forget, you can always do the H URL. If you want to just say, okay, this is getting too complicated for me. I'm just going to reference it here, put all my HTML right here, just put it all right here and not even have to worry about it. Okay. So let's keep going. That's the first thing with templates. Thanks.